using the long tail thumb cast on method is different from the long tail cast on method, but it's a much more basic type of cast on stitch than the other method. If you're new to knitting, I would recommend you using the thumb cast on method compared to the long tail cast on method because it's a simpler way of you to master the stitch while you're holding onto those knitting needles. Because when you're a first time knitter, sometimes it's really hard to try to hold on to the knitting needle and try to master the stitch as you're going through the process of teaching yourself how to knit. Hello everyone, my name is Tina and I'm gonna show you how to do the long tail thumb cast on method. So let's get started. All right, so for the first thing you wanna do is you want to create your knot and just put that on your knitting needle. And then what you want to do is for the long tail thumb cast on method, you want to just kind of hold your thumb like this, grab your knitting needle through the loop and then you, you have your first stitch. Okay. So what you do is you grab the, you hold your knitting needle, with your thumb and your index. You grab the thumb, loop in, and then you go under, and then you just kind of secure your stitch, all right? So you hold your, your knitting needle, just kind of wrap your thumb around, through, and then under, okay? So you're going under where your thumb is and then when you see that other back piece of yarn you move your knitting needle underneath the yarn and then you go like that okay so you're going under like that and there's how your stitches are forming and you don't want them too tight or too loose And then you just keep going. All right, and that's how you do that. So as I explained some of the benefits of the long tail thumb cast on method when you're new to knitting, but here is also something to consider when you're using this stitch. Once you've cast it on all your stitches and you're in the process of knitting the first row using the thumbnail cast on method, you will have to consider the long stitch that's going to come with it as you knit. So what will happen is you'll be knitting and there'll be this long thread of yarn in the center. That's okay, you can work with that when you're knitting on to the next row. Just kind of maneuver your knitting needle and the yarn and just kind of pull the yarn a little bit but not too tight to get the stitches back to normal. If you would like to learn more about the long tail cast on, you can view my video right here. If you still have any questions or any comments or any concerns about how you're processing this type of stitch, you can watch me live on Twitch in real time and ask any questions or just come hang out and we can knit together. Hope to see you soon. Bye friends.